Welcome back. This is lesson two in my journey learning A Course in Miracles. So um, thank you for joining me. Uh, a Course in Miracles is a theor theoretical foundation, right? So an untrained mind can accomplish nothing. The exercises are very simple. They do not require a great deal of time and um, uh, it does not matter where you do them. And um, do one set of exercises per day. The purpose is to train your mind in a systematic way to a different perception in the world. Do not decide for yourself that there are some people, situations, or things to which the ideas are inapplicable. The, this will interfere with the transfer of training. The very nature of true perception is that it has no limits. The overall aim of the exercises is to increase your ability to extend the ideas some of the ideas that are presented on this series you will find hard to believe and sometimes quite startling. This does not matter. You're not to judge them at all. Whatever your reactions to the ideas that you may have, use, use those reactions. Nothing more than that is required. Uh, that's the introduction of this video and um, lesson two quote I have given everything I see in this room on this street from this window in this place all the meaning that it has for me and um, this exercise uh, with the same uh, idea as the first one, uh, begin with the things that are near you and apply the idea to whatever uh, you see, whatever your eyes rest upon, and then increase the range outward. Slowly turn your head so that you include whatever is on either side of you. If possible, turn around and apply the idea to what was behind you. Remain as indiscriminate as possible in selecting subjects for its application. Do not concentrate on anything in particular and do not attempt to include everything you see in a given area or you will introduce strain. So we are not here to strain ourselves. Make no attempt to include anything particular, but be sure that nothing is specifically excluded. Um, try to apply the exercise with equal ease to a body or a button, an arm or a piece of fruit. Uh, merely glancing easily and fairly quickly around you, trying to avoid selection by size, brightness, color, material, or relative importance to you. The sole criterion for applying the idea to anything is merely that your eyes have lighted on it. So again, the lesson two, I have given everything I see in this room all the meaning that it has for me. And that's the truth for the day. So thank you and we'll be back again for the next lesson that I am learning along with you. If you're following along, please subscribe, like, and make a comment that is applicable to the lesson today. And um, with, with heart, uh, 
and we'll see you again. Blessings. <laughs>